Open code just changed everything for developers. This AI coding agent runs right in your terminal. No setup hell, no configuration nightmares. Just download, type a prompt and watch it build entire features. I tested it live and my jaw dropped. This thing is absolutely insane. All right, let me tell you about open code. This thing is absolutely nuts. I just downloaded it five minutes ago and I'm already building full features with it. No joke, no exaggeration. This is the real deal. So. What is open code? It's an open source AI coding agent that lives in your terminal. Think of it like having Claude or GPT right there in your command line. But it's not just chatting, it's actually writing code, editing files, running commands, fixing bugs, the whole nine yards. Here's what blew my mind. 650,000 developers use this every single month, 45,000 stars on GitHub, and it's completely free. You can use it with any AI model you want, Claude, GPT, Gemini, over 75 different providers. This thing's flexible. And the best part, it doesn't store your code anywhere. Privacy first, your code stays on your machine. That's huge for anyone working on client projects or sensitive business stuff. Like when we're building automation tools for the AI Profit Boardroom community, we need that privacy guarantee. Now, let me show you how insanely easy this is to set up. I went to Open Code, where I download, clicked the download button, ran the installer, literally took 30 seconds, no configuration files, no API keys to hunt down, no complex setup process, just boom, done, ready to go. When you first open open code, you see this clean terminal interface. It's got this nice TUI, which stands for terminal user interface, looks slick, feels professional, and it's waiting for your first prompt. That's it. You're ready to code. Now here's where it gets interesting. You can type slash commands to control everything, type slash connect to add your API keys if you want to use your own, or you can use open code Zen, which is their vetted model selection, makes it super easy for beginners. There's also this slash init command. This is brilliant. You run it in your project folder and it generates this agents.md file. This file gives open code context about your project, what it does, how it's structured, what conventions you follow. So when open code starts coding, it already understands your project. Smart. Wait, there's more. And this is where open code separates itself from everything else out there. It has LSP integration. That's language server protocol. Basically, it understands your code the same way your IDE does. It knows about functions, classes, variables, dependencies, everything. So when open code is writing code for you, it's not just guessing. It knows exactly what exists in your project. It can auto complete correctly. It avoids naming conflicts. It uses the right imports. This is huge. This is the difference between a toy and a professional tool. Let me give you a real example. Let's say I'm building a new automation workflow for the AI profit boardroom. We need a system that automatically onboards new members, sends welcome emails, sets up their dashboard access, creates their profile, all that good stuff. All right, before I go further, let me talk about something important. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in AI automation. You want to save time, build faster, get more done. That's exactly what we focus on in the AI Profit Boardroom. We're teaching people how to use AI tools like open code to automate their businesses, save hours every day, build systems that run themselves. And open code is perfect for this. Whether you're building internal tools, automating workflows, or creating custom solutions, open code makes it possible, even if you're not a developer, even if you're just learning to code. This tool levels the playing field. So if you want to learn more about using AI to grow your business, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. Links in the description. Open open code in my project folder. I type this prompt. Build a new member onboarding automation system. Include email notifications, dashboard setup, and profile creation. Use our existing database schema. And then I press tab. This toggles plan mode. In plan mode, open code doesn't write code yet. It thinks. It creates a plan. It breaks down the task into steps. It figures out what files need to change, what new files need to be created, what functions need to be written. It's like having a senior developer review the approach first. I see the plan. It looks good. It's going to create a new onboarding service, hook it into our authentication flow, add email templates, create database migrations. Perfect. I press tab again to switch to build mode. Now open code starts writing actual code and I'm watching it happen in real time. It's creating new files. It's editing existing files. It's writing functions, adding imports. The code just appears clean, well-structured, properly formatted. But here's the really insane part. If I don't like something, I can just type slash undo. Boom. It reverts the last change. Try again. No git commits to revert. 
no manual cleanup, just instant undo. This makes experimentation so easy and it gets better. Open code has multi-session support. I can have multiple coding sessions running at the same time. One for the onboarding system, one for fixing bugs, one for adding a new feature, all in different terminal tabs, all independent, all working in parallel. Now at this point, you might be thinking, okay, this sounds cool, but how does it actually perform? Is the code any good? Does it understand complex requirements? Can it handle real business logic? I tested it hard. I gave it complex prompts. I asked it to integrate with third-party APIs. I had it refactor existing code. I threw edge cases at it. And honestly, I was impressed. The code quality is solid. It follows best practices. It handles errors properly. It writes tests when you ask for them. Here's a specific example. I asked OpenCode to create a new endpoint for our AI profit boardroom platform. The endpoint needed to analyze member engagement data, calculate activity scores, identify at-risk members, and send automated check-in messages. This involves database queries, business logic, external API calls for sending messages, and it needs to be performant because we have thousands of members. Not a simple task. OpenCode nailed it. It created the endpoint, wrote efficient database queries, added proper error handling, included rate limiting for the message API, even added logging for debugging. The code was production ready and it took about three minutes, three minutes for something that would normally take a developer an hour or two. That's not just fast, that's transformative. Now, let me tell you about some features that make open code even more powerful and it has bash execution built in so it can run terminal commands, install packages, run tests, deploy code, whatever you need. It's not just writing code, it's actually helping you manage your entire development workflow. It also has guy rep search so it can search through your entire code base instantly finding functions, locating where variables are used, tracking down bugs. This is super helpful when working on large projects. There's also diagnostic support. Open code can read error messages, understand compiler warnings, and automatically fix issues. Your code breaks, open code sees the error, figures out what went wrong, fixes it, runs it again, all automatically. And get this, you can create custom commands. You write a markdown file, define your own slash commands, Give open code instructions for common tasks like slash deploy staging could trigger your entire deployment process or slash analyze performance could run your performance testing suite, totally customizable. Now here's something really clever. Open code has auto compaction. When your conversation gets really long, it automatically summarizes the earlier parts. This keeps everything fitting in the AI models context window so you can have super long coding sessions without hitting limits. Let me talk about model support for a second. OpenCode works with over 75 different AI providers, Claude Sonnet 4, GPT 4.1, Gemini 2.5, whatever you want, and you can switch between them mid-session. If Claude is being slow, switch to Gemini. If you need GPT's specific strengths, switch to that. Total flexibility. And here's what's really cool about this. Different AI models are good at different things. Claude is amazing at understanding complex context and writing clean code. GPT is great at creative solutions and edge case handling. Gemini is super fast and good at rapid iteration. With open code, you get the best of all worlds. Now let's talk about some pro tips for using open code. First, always run slash init in your projects. That agents.md file is gold. It gives open code so much context. Your code quality goes way up. Second, use plan mode before build mode. Press tab to toggle, review the plan. Make sure open code understands what you want, then let it build. This saves so much time because you catch misunderstandings early. Third, create custom commands for your common tasks. Have a standard way you structure components, make a command for it, have a testing workflow you always follow, automate it. This makes open code feel like it was built specifically for your workflow. Fourth, experiment with different models. Don't just stick with one. Try Claude for complex refactoring. Try Gemini for quick iterations. Try GPT for creative solutions. Find what works best for each task. Now let me compare open code to some alternatives. You've probably heard of Cursor or Ada or GitHub Copilot. These are all AI coding tools. How does open code stack up? Cursor is an entire IDE. It's great, but it's also heavy. You're locked into their editor. Open code works with any editor, any workflow. It's lighter, more flexible. GitHub Copilot is amazing for inline suggestions, but it's not agentic. It doesn't build entire features. Open code does. Open code can take a high level prompt and build complete functionality. That's a different level. So where does open code shine when you need to build entire features quickly, when you're working on complex refactoring, 
when you want flexibility in your AI model choice, when you need privacy and don't want your code sent to third parties. These are open codes sweet spots. Here's what I want you to understand. AI coding tools are not a future thing. They're here now, they're production ready, they're actually good. And open code is one of the best ones available. Free, open source, powerful, private. If you're a developer, you need to try this. If you're a business owner who needs custom software, you need to know about this. If you're building AI automation systems, this is a tool you should be using. It's that good. So here's what I want you to do. Go to open code or AI, download right now, download it, install it. Takes 30 seconds, then run this exact prompt, slash in it, then add a login endpoint with email and password authentication. Watch it work, see it for yourself. You're going to be amazed. I guarantee it, this is not hype, this is real. This tool is changing how we build software and you can start using it today for free. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and over 100 AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. It's our free AI community. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there. Plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. These people are building real businesses, automating real workflows, getting real results. Open code is one piece of the puzzle, but it's a big piece. Combine it with other AI tools, combine it with good business strategy, combine it with the knowledge from our community, and you've got something special. You've got the ability to build anything you can imagine, fast, efficiently, professionally. So that's open code, an insane AI coding agent, right in your terminal, free, powerful, private. Go download it now, test it, use it. Let me know what you build in the comments below. I read every single one. And if you build something cool with it, I want to hear about it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more AI updates, and I'll see you in the next video.